What a wonderful, what a wonderful occasion! And um, you get out the car there quickly behind the microphone. Your eyes just lit up with these little youngsters, and you see that the future of our game is right here. From Francois, from 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 Sinves, and 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 especially you guys uh, making this happen in the middle of amazing farmland. And you drive here just off the motorway, and all of a sudden this just pops up. is is quite something very very special. Um, so thank you, Sinves, Francois, to you guys, what you do for our game what you do for these kids, um, it's, it's, it's absolutely amazing and, 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 and this is it right here. Uh, our future of our game is in great hands. Um, to be here today to see what's happening with these nets, all I can say is that it, it really warms my heart to see what happens here and the efforts that's been, been thrown in by uh, Cricket South Africa, Senbes, um, and, and other companies as well to make this uh, a, a possibility here behind us. It's a wonderful opportunity where we collectively bring about value creation for the school and the community. And hopefully with the Senbes program that has been running, it is worthwhile to invest because these youngsters, they grow up and they become players that will join our pipeline. We're now in Free State. We have started in uh, Northwest and it's just magical to, to be part of such a uh, collaborative grouping to make massive changes where it happens most because the greatest value uh, you know, extraction you'll get in the rural communities. Okay, so this is another momentous day um, at Itokitseng. Um, one of the days that uh, will certainly stick in our minds. And if I think back to the beginning, of where the idea conceptualized. I clearly remember I um, visited one of uh, our clients in the Wesselsbronn area and uh, while walking around, I engaged with some of these workers and uh, I asked them, how are they? Um, what's happening in their lives? And they didn't talk about their work. They spoke like every parent about their children. Um, and the fact that the school, the farm school that was in that uh, area, right across the road, were derelict. Uh, the kids had to go into town. So in talking to those uh, farm workers, the whole idea conceptualized and we started thinking about farm schools, so, sort of re reinventing, reimagining farm schools um, through to our own strategy, the strategy of reimagining re the future, reimagining yourself. And then uh, the idea of a hub and adding all the elements that's needed in a society. So basic education, or first of all, uh, early childhood development, then basic education, then sport, the role of uh, bridging gaps and developing well-balanced uh, human beings, then food security, um, and uh, the fact that we threw um, teaching kids the basic skills of um, farming, of growing vegetables that could feed the school children, but the excess could also be sold for funds to that school. <coughs> the dream that I have is to uh, fully integrate um, both the boys and the girls. So we're starting uh, with the spinners program to also um, bring in the girls, and that I think is um, the role of business, that should be the over-encompassing um, role of business, to not only do business, but also be part of the community and the building. In the end, this is our country. We are responsible for producing individuals, but also building communities. So it's a huge privilege. I wish that the community of Itukiseng also see the value of this kitchen, because it's going to save the small ones who are at this stage very vulnerable, especially during these difficult times of the COVID-19, where you find that most of them, the parents are, are disabled financially, you know, economically. 
and this kitchen is really going to serve them well to say while you learn you shouldn't be hungry because uh, uh, the child who is hungry cannot really perform so we are hopeful that it is going to contribute it's going to be very valuable for the school and the community of vessels grown at large